what's up be operation iDroid here and welcome back to news for ios a series where i cover all ios emulator news and sometimes even screen recorders i cover things from nds to ios to gba for ios and recently i've been covering irec an ios 7 screen recorder that will be coming soon with that being said in today's episode we'll be covering a multiple topics so let's begin Alright, so today's first topic is on Raycast. Raycast is a Dreamcast emulator that is on Android. However, according to Karen Tsai, one of the developers of NDS for iOS, and she's the one that hosts NDS for iOS and GBA for iOS, she will soon be bringing Raycast to iOS. Now, this tweet was in February, but she's recently been tweeting about her progress on the emulator, and she's actually been able to implement JIT into this Dreamcast emulator, which is amazing news for that emulator and even NDS for iOS. Speaking of NDS for iOS, as I mentioned in previous news for iOS, it seems that NDS for iOS is content on not having an in-app browser anymore due to the DCMA that was released on GBA for iOS. So, there's no way to get applications within the app anymore. However, I made a video on how to get um, games out of the actual application. So if you need help with that, there'll be a link in the description for you to learn how to do it. Our next topic is GBA for iOS 2.1. I've recently been covering all the news on that update that is coming soon to GBA for iOS that will feature a multiple of new things and one of them being multiplayer. Recently, Ryan Testa has not very much updated us on his progress. However, I can confirm that he is working on it. And on your screen, I have a screenshot of just some of the things that will be changed to GBA for iOS, including a new logo. And if you look closely at the phone, you can find some hidden things. Next, we have iRec. iRec is an iOS 7 screen recorder that will be coming soon. And the developer actually hinted that he will be releasing a release date soon. However, we still do not know when that release date will be, at least we know he'll be releasing one soon. However, after he tweeted that, he also tweeted that he will be going on vacation, so I'm guessing progress on the actual screen recorder will slow down. However, hopefully in the near future we will be getting a release date to be looking forward to and all that good stuff. In our last bit of news, for those of you that have been hesitant to update to iOS 7.1.2 because of GBA for iOS, NDS for iOS, or iRec, you are safe to update. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. As I mentioned in the video, if you would like to learn how to get NDS ROMs out of the actual application, if you don't have the plus sign, then click on the video on the left. And if you would like to learn more about the iOS 7 screen recorder that I mentioned, iRec, then click on the video on the right. With that being said, if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a video, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the operation.